All right, guys, it's that time. Welcome to my first of two unboxings of a mystery box video. Uh, this one is sent by my guy, Loveless Vintage. Um, give him a follow on YouTube. Go, just go watch his videos. He does he does awesome videos of him thrifting, going through the bins, um, and he finds some pretty cool gems. And he puts them on Depop. So hit him up on Depop. Loveless Vintage, same handle. Um, I will not spend too much time on this because I could talk for about 20 minutes about one T-shirt. So, um, but yeah, shout out to uh, Loveless Vintage again. He um, I had suggested to him he should do a, a mystery box because he's got pretty uh, pretty cool inventory and. He took the idea and ran with it. So um, I was lucky to grab one of his uh, boxes before they sold out. This is a $50 box. Um, that was his uh, the rate he was charging for it, but it's a nice, sturdy, full filled box. There's really no movement going on. So he packed it to the gills. I really like that. So thank you again, uh, love the vintage. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for doing that two day priority shipping, by the way, that was awesome. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. I'll be, try to be delicate with this knife and not cut through anything in there. <laughs> Other side. Um, I'm not gonna pull them out in any particular order. I'll just pull it out as I see it. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what we have here on top. Ooh, I'm seeing a Tommy, Tommy stamp right there. Guy got a little card in there too. Let's check that out. All right, guys, so he uh, did throw a card in there for me, so that's a nice touch. I will be reading that afterwards. Um, so let me go ahead and pull some stuff out here. Oh, nice. Got a uh, Tommy Hilfiger visor, or a, what do you call that? Kind of a cap. Yeah, it's one of those, uh, there's no, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. That's a nice, uh, nice vintage piece. Definitely be throwing that up on my... Depop as well. Moving on, no particular order. Let's see what we got here. Hold down the crown. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna know, uh, maybe I'm not gonna catch a lot of these pop cultural references. Um, brands, I'm sure this is, I mean, it is a nice tee. It looks really cool. Um, I should know the brand, I really should but I will research it after and I'll go over uh, each individual shirt, but uh, pretty cool. Stussy tag on the medium. I know that sounds super familiar, so bear with me. I will do my best and research that. <laughs> Moving on, got another piece here. Ooh, what? Oh my God. Oh, that's so cool. It's a Swatch shirt. Swiss Army Swatch shirt. That's so cool. Right. And I, I grew up with um, Swatch around my family. My parents, they were really into that brand. So um, that is a really cool shirt. Really great graphic. It's on a Fruit of the Loom tag. It's a nice Fruit of the Loom heavy tag. So that's legit. Don't mind the cat meowing. I'll let her in in a second. Hold on. Now the cat can roam free in my room and just probably destroy everything in here. That's fine. No, no big deal. I uh, love that Swatch shirt. That's really cool. Oh, oh, the embroidery on this shirt. What? Oh my God, Washington State. That is really cool. And shout out to Loveless Vintage. Uh, he is uh, from the home state, Washington. That is his home state. So I like that a lot. That's cool. That's, I really like that. Um, there's like a gray spotting on the shirt. I wish I knew the terminology for that type of blend on a on a t-shirt, but makes for a really nice white. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of just the blank blank white, but this is a nice blend. I really like that. It's nice embroidery on the Michigan State, or the Michigan, Washington State. That's really nice. This probably might go up on my Depop, so I'll be looking for that if you're interested. But a nice uh, one Ida tag, power T. Pretty strong, made in the USA is always good to see. So, so far this box is looking like it's paying itself off with just the three items I've pulled. Um, that might be a personal swatch, we'll see. He packed this up pretty well. Yeah, there's, I wasn't expecting too much, but let's see what we got here. Polo Jeans Company, looks like a uh, an essential. Distressed 
gray tee, polo jeans, Ralph Lauren. Pretty cool. This will be uh, another piece I'd probably throw. Actually, it's an extra large. We'll see. But the polo jeans, nice, nice tee there, nice tag, extra large. So I might, may, may keep this for the personal. Um, I'll look into it though. Oh my gosh, this cat, look at this cat. Hello everybody, meet Matcha. Meet Matcha, she's adorable. She's getting fatter by the day. But yeah, anyway, I'll let her continue rummaging through my bed and all the uh, clothing I have on there. So that was a cool tee, nice essential. Ooh. Okay, nice little uh, North Face spell out here. I really like that color contrast. We got like a turquoise t-shirt with a nice bright red orange, but like maybe a blood orange spell out. That's pretty nice. So yeah, here's the tag for you. Kind of a, a newer newer North Face shirt, I think, on the mid, like mid to late 2000s, uh, but still a nice essential. Definitely gonna throw that up on Depop. Going through here. Ooh. Oh my god, are you kidding me, Loveless Vintage? What? This is a personal for sure. Oh my god. United States Secret Service? New York? What? That is insane, dude. Look at that. Look at the look at that print. I've never seen anything like this. And it is on a Haynes heavyweight 50-50, so that pretty much guarantees you that is this baby is vintage as it gets um i'll have to look more into it get more details on this but whew, may have found my most favorite t-shirt in the whole box this is this is really awesome guys thank you loveless you are the man and we still have like three items left so we're this is a really cool box i'm loving this all right let me pull out this pink oh it's disney i see the disney parks Oh, that's so cool. Well, first of all, I like this pink, um, very vibrant color. But look at that, look at that spell out. Walt Disney World with the nice uh, vintage Mickey there. That is really cool. I've never seen this before. This is new to me. I've never seen that, that logo. That's really cool. And it is a small Walt Disney World tag. You can see there but that's a really cool really cool print i love the color unfortunately i won't be able to wear this myself but i will definitely throw it up on depop um, or ebay most likely first depop i have so many things to post i have so far behind all right we're down to our last two items guys here we go nike tag and this is like a legit vintage uh, red check nike tag large nice okay just an essential a nice gray check in the middle of the shirt. I actually picked up a, a crew neck um, check on the pocket, um, so I'll be showing that later. But that's a nice essential right there. So I would say between like two or three of these shirts, I've already made my money back and then some. I mean, Secret Service shirt, that's probably sticking with me. That's probably the, the grail of this box if I had to if I had to pick. Um, that's definitely really cool. If I, you know, I put all these shirts up for 15 ships, 15, 18 ships. Um, some of them are, I'm sure, worth more than others, but uh, last shirt in the box here. Oof. Maybe I, hopefully I save the best for last. Oh, I got another Disney tag. Let's see what size this is. The medium, so I won't be able to wear this myself, but it is a sweet Disney shirt with the main gang, Disney squad. Wow, that is cool. I'm loving this. I'm really liking that Disney spell out. Oh, it's got like a, the, the, the spell out is, has its own like kind of like a felt velvet type of material on the spell out. That is really cool. And I like this navy, this navy tee. So really awesome box guys. Uh, and he really did, he did an awesome job with this. I mean, I think I, let's see, I've got, let me uh, quickly go over have here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's like eight shirts in the hat. Looks like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That's awesome. Lovely vintage. Thank you again. You are the man. You should do more of these. I guarantee you, you will make a lot of money doing it. So, 
So, and, and the cool thing about him is, um, and I, I will, I'll go over this in a second. Um, the cool thing about Loveless Vintage, that his Depop is very detailed. Each listing um, gives very specific details and he does a really good job of um, doing a really good wash and clean of each item that he sells. So you can guarantee that whatever you see, um, you'll be getting it in the cleanest possible way. Um, if he does any more of these vintage boxes, he was really cool about, I gave him a couple of genres. Um, pop, 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 like obviously he hit a couple of them with Disney. Um, I said Disney, NASCAR, and like something groovy. And uh, yeah, what a great box. This was awesome. Um, so yeah, hit him up on Depop. He's got some great stuff on there right now. It goes quick too, so I would I would you know go quick on uh, looking up his inventory because he does sell quick. Um, but give him a follow, give him a like on YouTube, uh, watch his uh, Ben's videos. Those are pers my personal favorites when he goes through his haul. He actually inspired me to do that. Uh, so yeah, and, and thank you guys for watching my unboxing. Um, I have another $100 mystery box on the way from a guy on Grailed, I forget his name, but the app Grailed, so that should be fun. I mean, this is 50, 50 dollars. I mean, eight t-shirts, if I sold them all for 10 bucks, I've already made $30 profit. But I know for a fact, there's a couple of these tees that can go for 20 by themselves, maybe more. So what an awesome value the box was, um, paid itself off in the first like three shirts. And uh, definitely made me not regret doing any type of a mystery box. This is the best way to do it. I love the way he did this. So thank you guys again for watching. And I will read this first to make sure, you know, there's probably something personal he wrote in there. It's nice that he did that. Um, but I'll show you if he uh, wrote something nice. So I just opened this guy up. A little thank you card. And it's got the, uh, he just said, hey man, thanks again. Uh, hope I enjoy the box, Jackson. That's sad. Uh, that's his name, Jackson at Loveless Vintage, with his insignia heartbreak heart, which I really like that. That's cool to do another one of these with you if you have an inventory for it, if you plan to do it again. Um, definitely would say this is my favorite of the whole box. I don't know if you intended for this to be like the, the grail or not, but I consider it the grail. Uh, I, I don't even know if, if it's worth more than, you know, 15, 20 bucks, but either way, I'm keeping this for myself. This is great. Because where am I, where would I have found this, you know? Like, I wouldn't have, would have not thought twice about getting myself a Secret Service shirt. So, that's just the beauty of vintage stuff. You never know what you're going to come across. Which, by the way, I have a pile of clothes that I just picked up today um, from different thrift stores that I wasn't expecting to. I just went on a hair, I got a haircut, and then the next thing I do is I go across the street to a thrift store, and then the rest is history. So, so yeah, anyways, thank you again, Jackson. You're the man. What a great selection you've given me. Um, hopefully I'll get my Depop started and um, if you guys are curious about whatever's in here I will definitely put posting most of it on Depop. Um, Swen6518, S-U-E-N, 6518 is the name. Um, Nifty Nate is also what I go for on there, so that's my other tag name. Um, so I'll put that in the description below so you guys can check it out. I've also got some other stuff, lots of, lots of teas that are going to be going up there soon. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and Jackson, thank you so much and everybody go follow and check out Loveless Vintage.